Contra Gangsta Lingo Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Donovan Sadiq Show. I am your host, Donovan Sadiq. It is November 30th, 2020. What a hell of a year. We're going to see massive pandemic problems coming down the pipe very, very soon. Because you people have decided not to follow the CDC recommendations and you went and traveled and, I mean, met with your family and then, you know, Oh my God, in a you know, few weeks to a couple of months, you're going to be up there crying and going to a funeral because Big Mama didn't make it. Then you're going to sit there and say, why? Why? Why, Big Mama? You know, uh, but I do, I really do hope you guys made the most of the Thanksgiving holiday. As a black person, I don't know what the hell you have to be thankful for other than breathing another breath of air. You know, we like to hee-hee and ha-ha about these sports figures getting knocked out and you know, all this other stuff. But who's going to be hee-hee and ha ha uh, when these, uh, the eviction moratorium comes up, even if Congress steps in, okay? You're not going to have the rent or the mortgage payment of six to eight months anyway. So we're going to see who's going to be hee-hee and ha-ha-ha-ha when all that is said and done. But hey, you guys, again, I'm Donovan Sadiq. I will be your host tonight. This is the Donovan Sadiq Show. Uh, you can find me on the War Zone Monday through Friday with my partner in crime, Demetri K, and the Five Star General. Uh, we usually come on at uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you guys get a chance, come check us out. We do a lot of good stuff there. Uh, I'm going to simultaneously uh, do this on a uh, video cast as well, so just kind of bear with me here. But we're, what we're going to be talking about today is that mammy that you know better than your Grammy. And that is butter biscuit, hot butter biscuit eating Simone Sanders. So give me a few seconds here and let me get the video cast going. And we're going to, you know, just get into this because we told you guys, we told you exactly what was going to happen. But for some reason, the Iceman's. The white man's ice is colder than ours. You know, we you know we just believe that for some reason. It's just it's just amazing to me. You know, so so here we go, and just want to make sure everybody we're all on the same page here. So just bear with me here. But l let me read this to you guys. Uh, Simone Sanders. Th this thing is about Simone Sanders. Now, if you guys know Simone, Simone Sanders, she is a uh, she is the uh, she was the public face or the communications person for uh, Bernie Sanders in 2016. And then, you know, because she's a political activist, she goes where the money goes. And then so she switches to who pays her the most money. And then she ended up on Biden's team because, you know, he needed women of color. You know, the, these white men love to use our black women for, for their benefit. And they talk about us not taking care of our children and all this other stuff. Have you guys ever thought? Have you ever thought about this? That is such bullshit because if that was the case, these white men don't take, take care of their, their responsibilities. And a lot of you sisters that are sleeping with these white men have kids for these white men that you put on some brothers, you know what I mean? And we're taking care of those kids. But like, you know, it's not about the kids because the kids are innocent. But, you know, it, it, it seems like anything that goes wrong in this country, blame the black man. Just blame the black man and, you know, you'll, you'll worry about the repercussions later. You know, the COVID is the black man's problem, whatever. You know, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's incredible to me. So, um, so they finally win. And her, you know, being, you would think common sense with her being the all pro linebacker that she is, you know, and everything that she did for this white man and her white master, you know, she put herself out there was really willing to take a bullet for him, a knife or whatever it was. And I'm going to show the video on the, on the video cast about that. You think they would reward her for her butter biscuit, buck dancing ass, twerking ass with the press secretary job, which is the same thing Roland Martin was trying to shoot for. He swore up and down. He, he was going to get that because he was just, he was 
eating butter biscuits so good. He was, mm, 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 mm. I mean, he was licking his fingers. Just licking his fingers, right? But guess what they did? They didn't give it to her. They named an all-white communications team with two Negroes up in there. And then the two Negroes they named, they put them under white women. How does it feel? We told you. Joe Biden is a Dixiecrat. He's not going to change. But y'all love symbolism. Oh, she's working for Kamala. They made her the press secretary for the vice president. Now, right now, how many of you guys can tell me who the vice president uh, press secretary is? Not many of you guys can do that. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. But anyway, here we are. Um, let me read this. This is out of USA Today. And it says, Joe Biden names all women White House communication team led by Jim Psaki as press secretary. Now, I know, and I'm familiar with, with Jen because she worked under the Obama administration. And again, all you people that love symbolism and you just jump on bandwagons and shit because you think you know politics, you know, you know it every four years. You don't even know it every two years. You know it every four years when somebody's running for president. You think you know stuff, but you really don't. And I know this lady, she did a lot of stuff behind the scenes and under the Obama administration. All these people, all they do is they recycle their jobs over and over and over again, and they just keep bucking for the next job. Okay, so let me read this. This is out of the USA Today. It says, President-elect Joe Biden named his White House senior communication staff Sunday, choosing a team of women led by Jen Psaki, a veteran of President Barack Obama's administration, as his press secretary. Now, did any of you guys see Miss Jen during the campaign? Did anybody see who was doing all the work? Oh, you know, Jean Pierre, whatever her name is. You saw Simone Sanders. You saw these people of color just bashing black men and telling black people they got to vote no matter who. And Joe, I mean, I mean, regardless of how I felt about what they were doing, because I knew what they were doing. Um, that's who we saw getting the work. But who got the fucking job? The white woman. They take care of their own, and we told you guys this. But oh no, he, you know, John, he's not, he's not even in office yet. You don't know what he's gonna do. You got, you got to give him time. Give, give him time. We're seeing what he's doing. The first eight important positions of his administration have nothing to do with black people. Putting diversity in your cabinet has nothing to do with progressivism. How do you say it? Progressivism or being progressive, okay? I'm not into the color thing. I don't give a shit who you are because I know what's going on, okay? I know, Donovan knows what's going on, okay? I'm a recovering Democrat, okay? I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat anymore. And people say, what does that mean you're a recovering Democrat? A recovering Democrat is a person who, like a uh, recovering alcoholic, I'm trying to stay away from something that is very bad for me, okay? as much because I grew up being a Democrat. My mama was a Democrat. My daddy was a, you know, I don't know, whatever. I was supposed to be a Democrat and I didn't know. So I got to wean myself off of that and stay away from it because the Democratic Party is not good for me and they continue not to be good for me or my people. But let's go on, shall we? Pasaki, who wore many hats under Obama, including White House communication director, has overseen the confirmation team for Biden's transition, turning to two top campaign aides, Biden tapped Kate Bedingfield as White House Communications Director. He didn't even give her the White House Communications Director job. He gave her the Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, chose Simone Sanders as Senior Advisor and Chief Spokesperson. How many of you guys have actually sat and heard Vice President Mike Pence give briefings at all on a national level? Can you name his person? I mean, I, I, I can name him because I'm a political junkie. But I doubt if you guys can do it. Bennington worked as a deputy campaign manager, communication director for the Biden-Harris campaign. Sanders was a senior advisor to the campaign. Okay? So, I'm just going to get out of this right now. I'm going to stop sharing this. All right, you guys. Here we are. This is Donovan Sadiq. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys are seeing me out there, this is for the video cast. So, <clears throat> here we are. After doing all of this work, you know, putting it all out there, this is how they repay um, the black campaign workers 
for everything they did. Was it not the black vote that got Joe Biden the election? We told you guys this. I mean, this is not nothing new or it wasn't anything that we uh, didn't try to warn you about. White supremacy is just what it is. It's white supremacy. And you guys did not listen. Oh, wait, wait a minute, though. Wait, you, you, he isn't even in there yet. You got to give him time. Give him time. Give him time to do what? W what are we giving him time to do? I, that's, that's what I'm not understanding here. So wait, give me one second because I, I need to share this on Facebook and I need to go to uh, YouTube. And I'm going to get into the commentary. Just just give me a second. It takes a while to get all this stuff going. And I'm just like, eh, everywhere here. So. Uh